we do have a, a very, very strong program that was founded by Dr. Khanna probably a decade ago. It's just gotten stronger and stronger. And what attracted me to Michigan is really this uh, incredible, almost unprecedented combination of fantastic clinicians, very high quality of medical care, patient care, combined with really, really strong research. The research approach that we taken on at Universal Michigan Scleroderma Program is a multidisciplinary collaborative approach. We collaborate closely with our colleagues, and this is not just from within rheumatology, we also collaborate with pathology, dermatology, pulmonary division, as well as um, our colleagues from cardiology. And so this multidisciplinary approach really helps us to tackle this disease in every aspect that we can think of. Systemic sclerosis is a multi-system disease by definition. Our intake of a patient with systemic sclerosis really is to understand what is the extent and burden of the disease to understand the impact on the person, him or herself, and then to understand what other parts of the disease are affecting specific organs that really require content expertise outside of rheumatology. So when we have a new patient, the benefit of being here in a unified program is having the patient be seen by other content experts uh, in sort of real time. And that means better coordination of care for the patient, and at the end of the day, to outsmart this disease, we need to work together. It's not just going to be a rheumatologist that solve this problem. I'm a rehabilitation specialist. I'm an occupational therapist. And a lot of the research that we do is in close collaboration with the rheumatologists and with the occupational therapy clinicians. So we have a few different clinical trials that we've done over the past few years. And we're really poised to do kind of innovative interventions with people that complement the medical management that people already receive. So patients really get exposed to this very integrated, interdisciplinary medical care. And then on top of that, you know, we combine that with, with very strong basic research, genetics, genomics. Uh, we collect data and biologic samples from all our patients with their permission, of course. We have three missions for the Scleroderma Research Lab. The first mission is to support the clinics, and so we do so by biobanking, which is providing a storage space for the clinical samples that are uh, ob obtained from the clinics. So for individualized therapy or precision medicine to um, be implemented, we need a very good biobank or biorepository system in place, and we do have the capacity in the lab to do so. So precision medicine basically involves learning everything we can about an individual patient and then really trying to put all of these massive amounts of data together into a unique composite picture that will allow us to really identify that patient and ultimately tell us what kind of treatment, how aggressively, when to use it, how long to use it, when to change to another treatment, and even, even get to a point of prevention because we're now starting to think about treatments where we can't prevent scleroderma, but I think we can get to a point where we can prevent its complications. Most of my study, I look for alterations in scleroderma patient-derived cells and to see whether we can um, utilize different approaches to correct this change in these patient-derived cells. We do so by trying different treatments, and this could be drugs that are currently already developed or by designing and developing new drugs. The second mission for, the, uh, for us is education. Well, our vision is to keep growing and recruit some of the best and brightest young physicians and scientists to be part of the team. And this is really making the next generation of scleroderma experts. This is a rare enough disease that if you don't have experts and you don't train the next generation of experts, really in a vulnerable population, you're left with a difficult time going forward for patients if you don't recognize the disease early, or if you do recognize it, you don't know what the next best therapy is. We have a long way to go, but really the recipe for mentorship is hard work and then training somebody else to work hard. And so I feel very lucky to have been trained by Dr. Khanna over the course of four years. Dr. Khanna is uh, the head of the Slurderm program, and he is one of the reasons people come here to train at the University of Michigan. The third mission is research. Uh, we perform translational research in the lab, so it's from the clinic to the lab and back to the clinic. University of Michigan really is paving the way for clinical trials just like this. Uh, over the course of, I would say, the last 10 to 15 years, we've made a lot of advances. 
but we still have a long way to go. And Michigan is sitting there right at the hub, using Dr. Khanna's expertise, using Dr. Varga's understanding of the pathophysiology of this disease. That series of experiments and, um, and approach really attracted me because working in a laboratory sometimes, we don't know what the patient's going through. It's very hard for us to engage. But in the clinical program, such as University of Michigan, what's so special about it is that they allow us PhD scientists to work in the clinic and to participate in patient events. And so we listen to um, the patient's story and their daily struggle, and that motivates us to work harder in the laboratory to find a cure for this wonderful group of patients that we have. And to be honest, for translational research, none of the work that we do will be possible without patient participation, as well as their participation of their family members. And so for that, we are very grateful, and this is what drives me to work every day. And also seeing peers that are really invested in the program really has shown me that this is a special place, and I think we do really important work that we try to make as patient-driven as possible. We see these patients, and every patient is given the opportunity to participate in research if they meet the specific criteria that we need to follow those patients. The two arms of our research falls into observational studies and clinical trials. Observational studies are appropriate for those patients who have systemic sclerosis, and we want to understand the natural course of the disease. Patients that enroll, after they have uh, fully understand what it is that is entailed in their research, will undergo uh, really a transformation from being a patient as a passenger to being in the driver's seat. And I often get this question, I have somebody who's sitting in front of me and I say, I'd like you to participate in this opportunity for an observational study. There is no direct benefit to the patient. This is not something that will change how the patient feels, functions, or survives now. But I think everybody understands when they're sitting in that chair how scary it is to have this disease and what it means to work together to outsmart the disease. Those patients really, in an altruistic way, are working towards helping the entire scleroderma community get to the answer. Many people with scleroderma really love the opportunity to be able to be part of research, whether it's a clinical trial or some more basic research, and in that way, really contribute to understanding the disease and making advances. So, very high degree of enthusiasm in coming here and being part of the research that we do. Patients that are able to participate in research and observational studies, they tell us from their perspective valuable information that allows us to work with other people around the world to put that information to good use. I work really closely with the clinicians to make sure that what they're doing is replicable and uh, we create things that seem kind of boring but are really important, like protocols and how to adapt them given the heterogeneity of the disease. And now we're trying to standardize, protocolize some of those treatments that, um, that other sites could use. We really have a great program here that combines all of these specialties. And, and I think this is the, the way we should take care of people with scleroderma in the future as a truly integrated, multidisciplinary approach. And this is a way I think we're gonna make real advances.